Hello everybody! We are working through our geology unit right now and we're using this book called Mountains and Volcanoes by Barbara Taylor as inspiration and today we're going to work on this project called Do-It-Yourself Geyser. Now I've done this before about four years ago when my oldest son did this unit and I'm just going to show you the geyser that we made back then. Now I'm using this little glass pipette and I'm using an old spice jar and I just hammered a little hole through the top and then I inserted the glass pipette and that's because I didn't have the other materials in order to make it but today we're going to make it the way the book describes but I do want to show you that this one does indeed work you can see that our little geyser is about to erupt here and it doesn't have like this huge dramatic eruption it's just kind of you can tell that the water is being pushed through the little glass pipette because of the pressure that has been created inside the jar because it's in a warm water bath and that heats up the water inside the jar. Okay, so to do this project, you'll need a few materials. We're using an old spice jar. I just had to clean off the outside label. The other materials that you're going to need are a hammer and a nail. Now, I'm not sure that this was the best way to make a hole at the top because in doing so, we cracked the lid and I'm pretty sure that you're going to need to have a very solid lid like you don't want to have any air be able to escape anywhere on the top of the lid otherwise I don't think your geyser is going to work so I'm using a straw here and I'm just inserting it through the hole and then I'm going to uh, use some wax to fill in all the gaps around the straw on the top of the jar and on the bottom of the lid. So I, I'm just warming the wax in my fingers a little bit. This is some beeswax that we recently got in our kindergarten hall video. <laughs> you can check that out. Now I've just made sure that there is no way that the air can get in or out. And then the last thing I want to do is add a little bit of wax to the very top of the straw and that way we can ensure that we have a very tiny opening and you achieve that by just using a little needle and making a hole through the top. Okay, so you've got a really tiny hole at the top and then of course the larger hole at the bottom of the straw and in order just to make this a little bit more dramatic we're using some uh, dye, some food dye and some cold water and now we can screw on the lid. Now in the meantime I have been heating up some water on the pan. You don't want it boiling hot but you do want it fairly warm. So now we're gonna use both our original geyser and the one that we just made. I'm just placing them into this very warm water and you can see that pretty immediately the air and or rather the liquid inside the jar begins to warm up because it's beginning to evaporate and that's going to cause the pressure inside the jar to increase and as that pressure increases it's going to push down on the water which then is going to force it up through that little glass pipette and that's how you're going to get your geyser. So the original geyser that we have is working just fine. I mean, it's not like this dramatic eruption, but the other one was not. And even after some troubleshooting, I could not get the other one to work. So I'm really sorry, guys. But if you want to see some of our other more successful <laughs> projects with our geology unit, you can click on the screen right now and you can find the complete directions for this project on my website at pepperandpine.com.